Hello, all you fine people. Uh, I have another replay for you. This time it is a replay of me, the Bad Fat Panda. I'm going to be playing Terran. Uh, this is on Cloud Kingdom. Uh, it's going to be a TVP, in case you couldn't tell by the production tab. And uh, this is going to be uh, me executing Bomber's strategy that he used for all but, I think, three of his TVPs in uh, the Red Bull LAN over the weekend. And uh, Red Bull was actually really, really fast at getting those replays out, so uh, that made me happy. I, I wrote down the build order and stuff, uh, and <laughs> just to just to give you the scope of, of this game and why I'm so excited for this, I don't write down build orders anymore. Like, it's been so long since I've, I've looked at a game, and I, I've just thought to myself, I need to use this now. Uh, and with, with like, in that now, not oh no, W now. Makes a difference. All right, so TVP on this map um, recently has been there's been, since Squirtle's like resurgence in uh, in IPL four. There's been uh, an equal resurgence, if not stronger, uh, of uh, Protoss two base timings, uh, generally involving Colossi and uh, upgrades. And I, I don't think he actually gets upgrades with the initial push. But it's the same like two, three Colossus lands timing that is such a pain to deal with on this map because the ridiculously tight choke. The one thing that I have to say you do have for you as a Terran, if you happen to get Vikings, um, if you happen to scout what's up and you get Vikings, you can use this cliff to your advantage. Um, any competent Protoss will put Stalkers right there, especially if they have Blink. Squirtle's timing does include Blink. Um, Mana has actually been using it too. Like every, every decent Protoss has been... Uh, all over that but this is me scouting um always scout on this map first i waypoint here then down here this is all to check for proxies this is the last like proxy spot usually you see a terran proxy racks here less than uh, a protoss but it, you can still see a lot of proxy pylons there so you'll see i do come back to it now and then throughout the map throughout the uh, match and this is just going to be a straight up one barracks expand um, Bomber does get the second supply depot, uh, but on this map, I generally favor um, I generally favor the one depot rather than the two depot. You can limit a wall off, but I, I don't know. A Protoss is most likely going to be expoing on this map, and if they're not, you really have to prepare for a shitstorm because it will be coming. Oh man! All right. So meanwhile, I've just gotten the uh, adequate amount of minerals to get that extra SCV. I do, this is a map that um, a lot of people, especially when I scout a Zealot first here, you always want to get a bunker. Um, because of the the way that the Protoss can come at you, generally you can hold this choke with like three Marines or so, but if they go for some Zealot two Stalker push, that's actually, I don't know why, but it, I've been getting a lot of that on ladder recently, um, they can kind of roll you. Uh, if you don't have a bunker out and you don't pull an SCV or so to uh, tank the stalker fire. Um, so this is this follow up here, it's going to be a one racks expand into two additional racks as soon as you have the cash for it. And then after that you get a single gas, right? Single gas at 23 supply. And um, I don't know why I'm not, yeah, it's really sloppy. You shouldn't wait three seconds before you call it on a mule. Um, it's not like you have anything else to do at the moment. Um, but you see here, I'm trying to deny any sort of proxy pallet from going down. And look at that. He's just doing some 3-gate pressure before an expansion. Um, but I saw a little bit of Chrono Boost saved up, and he did spend his Chrono Boost uh, on the Cyber Core, not on the Gateway. So ideally, I would have had another SCV in here to check um, for the Nexus going down or not. But I really couldn't get this SCV back out in time. I figured that he'd have a Stalker coming my way. He does only have a probe at this waypoint, but I imagine if he sees a... Scouting SCV, he'll pull a stalker there in my general direction. So I do have three bunkers going down. Obviously, that will delay uh, any sort of build, regardless of what you're doing. But the general gist of this build is after your three barracks are up, put down this tech lab. As soon as you have the gas for stim, get stim. <laughs> it's a pretty easy... This is like the, the really standard Korean metagame here. And I am getting an engineering bait too. Uh, at 6 minutes and 50 seconds, um, roughly... I. 40-ish supply, 40-42 supply, you'll be getting an engineering bay, a factory, and a second gas. And uh, I don't know, it seems that no matter what gas timing I use, I can't replicate that 650 factory timing that Bomber does. Uh, my gas timings are exactly the same, he just 
some reason, man, <laughs> he gets an extra like 20 or so gas. Um, but I, I, I would be content to say like seven blizzard minutes there for the factory timing. Um, and then something that he does, I'm going to harp on this a little bit later, so I'll save it till then. Uh, if you happen to be watching the, re the matches live, by the way, uh, Bomber did this cute thing against uh, MC where he only uh, built his turret up to like 98% and then took the SCB off. Of course, he'd put it back there if he saw Dark Templars coming in, but I don't know. It's still a 75 mineral investment, so I do, ev I do get a scan off at some point to see this robotics bay. Um, but on this map, I almost can go blind Vikings if I don't see uh, charge or early upgrades. Um, because even though even though um, Squirtle's build does include Blink and uh, I think even 2-1. 2-1 or 2-0. Um, he does actually delay his forge for a little bit and just allocates most of his chrono boost into that. So if we take a look at the harvester count now, I have cut a, f a few uh, SCBs early on um, just to get those uh, bunkers out because I thought I was going to die to a four gate. Um, but nothing really came of it, and I'm still in a pretty good place economically. So here, at around eight minutes, you have these additional uh, two barracks coming up, and Alive and Jokshi have been playing with this recently, this additional, uh, the five barracks off of two base. Um, I really like it. I have been doing it now and then, but Bomber's build is really, really refined. Um, of course, mine was thrown off here, so the timing will be delayed around like 30 seconds to a minute because of these two bunkers. Um, some maps I don't even get bunkers, like Antigua, unless I scout some sort of, unless I scout a lot of sentries, or um, I don't see an expo, I, I don't get a bunker. And then this, this is what I wanted to harp on, alright? This is so ridiculously smart, and I saw Bomber do it once, and I thought maybe he just didn't have the gas to do it, but then he did it again and again and again. He executed the same exact build in all but two of his replays, and he, he played TVP, I want to say upwards like 10, 12 times. He only gets a single tech lab. Why is this? Um, not only does it um, mitigate any sort of uh, add-on timing, you, you, you don't have to wait for the barracks to build a, another add-on. Uh, so that'll help your push just straight up uh, as it was. On top of this, any this add-on 100% is dictated by what he scouts. If it's any sort of fast upgrade slash Templar play, he's going to get a reactor. If it's any sort of Colossus timing, he's going to get a tech lab. All right, and I did actually scout. If we take a look at my vision. All right, so what do I see? I see the gate. Uh, I see the robotics bay, and this is huge. I see the additional three gates. Why did I scout this location? Because he had a pylon right here. Always use everything to your advantage. If you if you go in and you see, hey, all right, there's one pylon here. There's a second pylon here, and this third pylon. Why is it over there in the back corner? <laughs> He's gonna hide tech there. He's gonna put gateways there. He's gonna do something there that you really need to scout. So do it. Scout. Somebody with the research. A lot of the. Uh, people are like map happening again. Apparently, there's something out that Blizzard ha hasn't really caught wind of yet. Um, somebody posted an awesome comment that said, "These people can suck this much of the game. Like their mechanics are bad. Um, their army control is bad, but they win games specifically because they have map hacks. Map hacks are kind of like scouting. Like it it's the same general idea." If you you can suck at this game and other and other aspects of this game and still do really well because you can scout. Um, if we take a look at the supply right now, I'm ahead like by a lot. Um, as soon as I scouted, I started Viking production. But if we take a look at the army supply, I don't think we'll be yeah. I'm actually a little bit ahead in worker supply too. This, this shouldn't happen. I this account I'm playing Terran on it after I ran him for a while, so like I'm still mid mid like mid-high masters on this, and it's gotten me well, a couple one-sided games, but I just wanted to show you this three Colossus timing can actually be, uh, can actually be thwarted. Of course, this is the no upgrade uh, variant without blink, so, but he does actually have sentries in place of it. Squirtle, if you guys play Protoss, seriously, just go grab Squirtle's replays from IPL4. It's amazing. Um, the build is really refined, he gets uh, a lot, his sentry count up really early, so he gets a lot of energy on his sentries um, to do this push. And then he just gets three Colossus with Lance, Blink, and 2-2, two -two and just goes and rolls you. Um, he can expo behind it, but it, it's really not even necessary. And you see here how I'm only stimming a, a 
bit of my force. I don't want to waste all of my mana back energy. And really, I know I'm in a pretty good position here because I do have, or I should have another command center coming up relatively soon. Um, but you see, I, I've stopped SCV production um, while he was attacking in order to get more units out. At this point, I'm queuing, so I should actually pick up with SCV production again. But if we take a look at the harvesters, I'm still sitting pretty high, and he's at a, a relatively high probe count too. So he can definitely expo on this. Um, he doesn't have a forge out yet, though, and that's that's really crucial. Um, so for that engagement, I just used this little ledge here um, that I talked about earlier to my advantage. And uh, I had some SCVs repairing the bunkers. That helps, of course. Um, but Colossi can outrange bunkers, so it's just this little micro war between the uh, Vikings and any uh, stalkers that may be there. So I'm scouting with my scouting factory. I, d I never use my factory in TVP. <laughs> I may, like, if I'm up against some random one base Protoss timing and I, I legitimately do not have time to pick up and swap my reactor on my starport, I will make reactor hellions out of there just to get some more units out. Um, but, yeah. It's really all the wisdom I can share on that. So I am continuing with 2-2. Two -two. Uh, during that, I did get an armory and additional engineering bay. And I'm starting this command center now that I know I have map control again. High times are about in Terran land. And uh, I, I missed this pylon. It's quite unfortunate. You always want to kill the, the probe, too. There's generally always one scouting probe. Uh, around your side of the map all game. So if you can scout for that, you're in a good spot. But if we take a look at you, the resources lost tab, like you can defend and be really cost effective if you control your engagements and if you really scout. Since I saw the early pressure, I had the bunkers up. I didn't need to make them later. Um, I scouted. I saw the robotics bay based on the location of the pylons in his base where I went to scout. There's my man. If you're playing a Terran and he manner mules you, it's probably me. I don't know, I just like <laughs> playing on the Korean server and getting manner muled like every TBT regardless of if they win or lose. It just it makes you want you want to jo join in on the party. I get a lot of flag for it on NA though. Even on even on uh, EU, although people, I have to say that people are, are generally uh, a bit more mannered on a uh, European server than American, but it doesn't really. Uh, it's not. It's not like a one hundred percent hero. So I am losing my Vikings at this point, and I kind of realize that. So I think I pull them back eventually. But I'm just focusing down the Colossus here, and ideally I want that immortal out of the way. Yeah. So I do, I do move forward to focus fire right now. And I'm pretty much happy to sacrifice these few marauders as long as I get my Vikings out. And my medivacs, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I was debating using them for scouting here, but 300-300 adds up, guys. If you're in a position to, always try and keep out whatever units alive that you can in every engagement. So behind this, I've been making a bunch of units. Um, I am getting ghosts out. I do have Mobius Reactor. And this is the other. This is like the last little tidbit of the bomber build. Um, I will I will upload another replay um, against a better opponent. I'll, I'll see if I can get a, a Grandmaster replay uh, off my other account. Um, TVP to show you guys the actual execution of the timing that he, he rolls with. It pushes out at 11 minutes with 4 medivacs, and then behind it he takes a 3rd base and gets a Ghost Academy. So regardless of the opponent's previous tech, even if he's going... Uh, there was a situation where Squirtle um, on Ohana actually went for a Colossus timing. When he pushed out, he still got a Ghost Academy, and he did end up making Ghosts. Um, it wasn't right after, obviously. He needed to uh, a lot more gas at that point in time into uh, into the Viking production. But as soon as that was over, like you're going to need Ghosts eventually if it goes into late game, so why, why not grab it? So good stuff there from Bobber. <laughs> Bomber. I'm Bomber. Well, I don't know where that came from, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I will definitely have another replay out soon. This is, I believe, Tuesday or Wednesday, so I'll probably have this out on Thursday. And I'll have another one over the weekend. I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, have a good one. Peace.